Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Ada, and in today's video, I will be discussing the um, top five worst NBA draft busts in NBA history. So in my last video, and I'll link that in the description if you haven't seen that, go check that out. But in my last video, I discussed the top five best NBA players ever in my opinion. Gave a list, gave my reasonings as to why I made this list and why I felt this way. And so today I wanted to go the complete opposite direction and go with the top five worst draft busts in NBA history. So rather than doing a top five worst NBA players list, I thought that doing a list of um, NBA players that were high picks but didn't but turned into terrible players would be better because they were destined to be great and were picked very high um, but they just didn't pan out which I think is uh, even worse than you know being a second round pick that doesn't pan out so yeah w and without further ado let's get right into the video number five on my list is Hashim the beat so you have probably heard of Hashim the beat he was drafted in 2009 with the second overall pick by the Oklahoma City Thunder and he was taken ahead of a bunch of great people uh, in that draft I think Steph Curry was in that draft so he was taken in front of him DeMar DeRozan um, and a lot of other great players much better than him his NBA career only lasted till 2014 so only for six seasons five seasons and he only averaged about two points and three rebounds in his entire career he was seven foot three and had comparisons to Dikembe Mutombo so he obviously did not live up to that uh, he played pretty terribly on every team that he went to and I think he's still playing right now just overseas but by far uh, one of the worst draft picks of all time especially for the number two spot which usually is you know destined for great players hence why they're taken so high and so Hashim the beat is number five on my list all right, so on to number four. Uh, I have uh, Kwame Brown as my fourth worst player that was a high pick in NBA history. So Kwame Brown surprisingly actually played uh, 12 seasons in the NBA from 2001 to 2013. Um, he was selected by the Washington Wizards by Michael Jordan when the, he was their GM at the time. Obviously, it was a pretty bad pick. However, I don't have him in the top three because one the 2001 draft wasn't very good overall um, so there weren't a lot of superstars that were taken in that draft that the Bobcats uh, missed out on um, and also uh, Kwame Brown I don't think it was really his fault for how his career turned out uh, he was uh, drafted right out of high school which was kind of like a new thing back then and Michael Jordan saw potential obviously but I think he was a little too young for all the pressure of being the number one overall pick um, and especially with the transition between high school and NBA he couldn't really make that at all and he didn't really have a lot of skill moves that you would think a center in the NBA should have which is why he failed however because he played such a long career of like 13 years and his draft class was pretty bad in uh, overall uh, I have him as four instead of in the top three so yeah okay so number three on my list of all-time draft busts in the NBA is Michael Oluwa Candy he was drafted number one overall by the Clippers in 1998 and obviously didn't pan out hence why he's on this list he averaged about eight and six in his career um, and he played a good amount of years, like I said, for about nine years for a couple of teams. And the surprising thing was, unlike a lot of these players on this list, his career started off well and he was actually picked second team, uh, second team all rookie uh, his first year in the league. However, after that, he never really picked it up. And um, while he may be uh, to blame for his... Um, lack of success in the league. I think the Clippers is also the team to really uh, blame because they picked Michael Olawakandi even though he reportedly had only started playing basketball when he was 17 and really started playing like you know on a team at 18 years old and so to get him maybe a year or two right after he started playing basketball may have not been the smartest move especially for the number one overall pick. Uh, this type of pick could have been used for you know a late first round second round pick just because you know you're not losing too much but with the number one overall pick 
to go and get someone like Michael Oluwakandi in the 1998 draft uh, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So he's top three. I mean, he's uh, third all time, in my opinion, on this list. All right, so number two on my list of all time draft busts in NBA history is Darko Milicic. So Darko Milicic was selected second overall by the Detroit Pistons in the 2003 NBA draft. And so if you know a little bit about the 2003 NBA draft, you know that that's one of the greatest drafts of all time. Number one was LeBron James, number three was Carmelo Anthony, four was Dwayne Wade, and fifth was Chris Bosh. Or no, fourth was Chris Bosh, fifth was Dwayne Wade, something like that. And second, of course, was Darko Milicic, like I just said. And so even though he was, I think, in my opinion, on this list of players, he's actually the best one in terms of talent. Uh, I think it's a mixture of him not penning out in the league and also um, being in such a great draft class and being selected over guys like Carmelo, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh that made his career uh, much worse uh, than, you know, the talent that he had. I think if he was selected, you know, late first round or maybe in like the 20th pick or so in the first round, I don't think it would have been that bad and I think he would have actually figured it out. I think that he had so much pressure going in and he was also a teenager at this time that he couldn't live up to that, especially when his career was being compared to the other four on, on the list that were selected right before and right after him. And so that's why I have him as number two on my list, but he is an NBA champion. He had a nine, 10 year career, he averaged about six and four in the NBA. So he didn't have a terrible career, but definitely not uh you know someone that should have been selected second overall especially in the 2003 draft which is considered to be at least the top three draft of all time all right so to round out my list at number one i think the biggest bust of all time in nba history is anthony bennett so you've probably heard of anthony bennett um so in 2013 making him the most recent player on my list and that i count as a bust uh, he was selected number one overall uh, by the Cleveland Cavaliers in the 2013 draft, like I said. And he was selected um, ahead of guys such as Victor Oladipo, um, uh, CJ McCollum, Rudy Gobert, Giannis. And obviously he did not pan out because he is no longer in the league. He played for four different teams in about three seasons, which obviously shows how bad he it, he was and probably still is and i know he's playing in another league right now overseas but he was just like a terrible nba player uh had really no set of skills that had any reasoning as to why he was a number one overall picked so that was just a very big mistake by the cleveland cavaliers um he averaged about five point or four points and three rebounds in his career. And like I said, I think he's not only the biggest draft bust in NBA history, I think on this list, he is the least talented player in NBA history and was only selected due to hype. Uh, even when he was selected, the uh, announcers that were announcing the NBA draft at the time were shocked that he was selected. So no one saw it coming. And Cleveland thought that they could, I guess, make a star out of him, but that obviously didn't happen. And so that's why he is number one on my list of all-time draft busts in NBA history. All right, so that will do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. And like I said, if you haven't watched my most recent video where I rank the best NBA players of all time, top five NBA players of all time, please go do so. I will link that in the description. And that is all for me with this video, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. See you next time.